Hey guys, welcome back. Let me show you guys what I'm, uh, I'm working on right now. First of all, let me show you guys the new shower head. Looks pretty cool. So this is a new hose, the 10 foot hose, where I can just, uh, you know, spray down some stuff in the trailer, uh, the kids, the dog, shower the dog. Um, it's all in one, as you can see. It has all the, uh, the cool different stuff. Um, it goes up, like that, the angles. Uh, you can hook it in the back right here, and then on and off. That's pretty cool. And obviously, it goes here, like that. And that's how it's gonna work. Shower right here, look around. Yeah, this is the uh, shower. All right, and uh, on to what really uh, I'm working on right now. Let me show you guys. So right here, as you can see, I am using this stuff here. This rubberized undercoating. I want to do is I want to spray. I already did this fender right here, so you can see. I power washed the trailer the other night, the other day, and now I just uh, I waited like two days for everything to dry, and now I'm, uh, I'm doing this. So let me show you guys later on once I finish. I got four cans. Should hopefully be enough, and then I show you guys how everything looks. I got my mask on because this stuff is nasty. But yeah, as you can see, uh, I missed a little spot there. The whole line. Let me, uh, let me get it quick. Ah oh, man, my new hose is getting dirty. Alright, let's skip this area. Let's come to this area here. That's uh, before. Yeah, so it looks like you can see this side is all done. We've got a little more inside here. Right. Yeah, it smells really bad, but so this whole side right here, the this whole bottom here is all done. And I got a little bit more to go here. As you can see, this side is not done yet. Um, I got a little more to go here in the front. So yeah, um, a little bit of rust here. Yes, I just want to make sure this trailer lasts for a long time. I want to cover everything up. I want no issues. You know what? Actually, I forgot to power that light. I need to do that one. All done. Whew. Let me show you guys how everything turned out. I really, I really like this stuff. Uh, Crawl underneath the trailer. So, yeah, look at this. you can see right there that's where I, I ran out I only got four cans I figured it was enough but it wasn't probably going to end up needing uh, I would say two more maybe three cans any touch-ups uh, I missed but you can see right there that one is done and you can see the one behind it how it's kind of white and rustic uh, so yeah that one uh, needs to be done from that point back um, but yeah it looks really good underneath the fenders right here and yeah a couple spots I missed because I was running low little spot right there and a couple spots right there so I will say three more cans I think it's like six bucks a can it's not bad looks really good um, yeah, it's already dry it dries really quick As you can see kind of sticky right there but it does offer a little bit more protection. And this is a 1987 trailer. So whatever military stuff that was on already, which is right here, it's really good stuff. 
uh, if I was coming off already and I kind of wanted to, uh, you know, put all this money into the trailer, might as well protect it as much as possible. I don't know how long this stuff will last, but for under 30 bucks, who cares, you know? A couple extra years out of it. Hi guys, so um, another item down or almost done. Uh, I got so much more to uh, to finish. But yeah, uh, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, if you guys used this product before, please let me know. Um, how good is it? Does it last a long time or is this something I'm gonna have to apply every year? All right, later.